I'm about two miles up the road from that creek subdivision that had like five houses in it. This is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I believe that's an Indian tribe though, that and Central Street. I believe I'm either still in Kingman, Arizona or just outside of it. Uh, this place is called, I'm going to make an attempt at this. Hualapai Shadows. Models open, new homes and lots available. Now there are some houses in here. I just don't know how big this area is. They may already have. The whole thing completed, but I doubt it. Because they look kind of new. And that's usually a sign that we've got at least a bust project. But this is not completely a road to nowhere because there are some homes here. You can see there's the mailboxes. Oh, there's no way that this is completed. But anyway, there's a bunch of mailboxes there. And we'll go down this street here. Uh, this is maybe pretty sparse. No, no way. This is nowhere near finished. A lot of these that are built, well you can see here's some empty lots here. There's an open house there. Nice house though. Look at that garage door. It's very nice. Another empty lot there. They put like walls in between the houses here. That's kind of like the fence. Yeah, they're actually still building a few houses here. But for the most part this place is empty. There's one there that's actually being built. Yeah, this was a pretty large project, actually. That's all part of it, too, but it's doesn't look like they're going to be getting to that anytime soon. This is like brand new stuff. You can tell by the sidewalk. Let's go out this way. We'll come back in. Here's another house that's being framed now. Well, nobody's working there. Right now today. Oh yeah! Wow! Look at this. This is actually a huge development. But out here, they don't—they just don't seem to throw the asphalt in too quickly here. Some of these places are not that easy to get to, and it's just tough kind of ride. There's a fire hydrant there in the middle of nowhere. Another one. Wow. Just another bankrupt development, folks. Just this one's Arizona style instead of Florida. See all the lot lines. They've already dug all this up and put sewers and everything in. And the electrical. Another fire hydrant. Let's see how far it is from here to the, where the rest of the houses are. And I'm assuming a lot of these houses are probably foreclosures or people that have walked out on their mortgage. Goes all the way back over there too. Hmm. That's all part of it. Here's a little better look at it.
got one more street I want to drive down here and then that'll be just about the end of this one. So I'm guessing this area is probably about 10 or 15 percent completed because even the areas where there are some houses as you can see there's a lot of a lot of empty spots so it kind of looks pretty crappy in here actually. There's another decent looking house kind of small but houses here are full and then on the other side it's all empty and then that's that house that they were framing down the street There's another look at the, even some of these are for sale that's empty so both those are empty this one here is empty as well because it says the builder's still sitting on that probably going to be sitting a while I can't understand why they're building houses still with Existing, a lot of existing stuff sitting empty. Here's another open house. That's builder sitting on that one. Another one here for sale. Empty lot. So I believe we've covered most of this one. It's a little more confusing here because the lack of pavement. This one here is empty too. This place isn't even 10, 10 or 15 percent completed. When you count the empty houses in here, it's probably about five. There's a lot of land back here. There's one here that's for sale. And there's one, two, three empty lots there. Another one there for sale. These two houses here, ah, somebody's living in that one. A couple on my left that you can't see they're living in. Yeah, two or three or four lots for sale there. Same over here. But this is where we came in, so we'll we'll end it here. Well, actually the house that I said that was kind of a kind of a cool, cute little house. That's the builder sitting on that one as well. Jeff Holdsworth Design and Construction for sale.